All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is April 23rd. We got ourselves a Saturday, four games on the NBA slate today. We're going to jump in, give you my lean against the spread on each and every game, give you what I'm thinking. But as always, my final plays will be in the pinned comments. So make sure to check that out. I updated throughout the day. So if you don't see any plays there, or there's only a couple, make sure to check back later as up until game time, I will be getting final plays in. And we'll also throw them in the Discord as well. That link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment there. Guys, 6-0 and oh night last night. 6-0. and oh, Clean sweep. And this was no baby sweep. This was no, you know, 2-0, and oh, let's sweep it. No, no, no. This was some dirt on the ground. And we absolutely swept it out of the way. 6-0. and oh, 25-6 and six run in the last six days here. We had the Suns minus two. Cash it. We had the teaser of the Bucks plus a point and a half and the Suns and Pelicans over 212. Cash that as well. Drew Holiday, funny story here. We did hit his under 21 and a half points as well as his under eight and a half assists. But when I tried to place it, and you guys, if you read the pin comment yesterday, I owned up to it, but we're still going to count it as a win because it did go through. I tried to place the under for his points in this dumb brain places the under for his assists when that wasn't even part of my research or part of me wanting to place it but we will take the win sometimes you get a break in life and that is uh that is a good sign there i guess you know adding to our sweep of a night but i really didn't even you know educationally take drew holiday's under eight and a half assists it just came through for us and then we had deandre hunter under four and a half rebounds we can cash it and then the ride of the day ride of the day here shout out to holiday 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 don't want to mispronounce it, so I'll just pronounce it both ways. Shout out to you, man. Hashtag ride of the day. Jimmy Butler over 0.53s made. It was zero the entire game, and Jimmy Butler game on the line. You know, he hits a big three. They did end up catching the L, but he did come through for us in the clutch time in terms of our play here. So hashtag ride of the day. It comes through there. Um, 0.53s. He did end up making a three, and uh, maybe my dog Bravo here wants to say hello. Oh. Uh oh, he's going under the desk. If this whole thing comes down, it's because of him. But uh, well, maybe he'll pop up later on in the video here. But guys, hashtag ride of the day. If you do want to have the chance to be shouted out in tomorrow's video, I'm going to be jumping on board with one of your plays in the comments. So use hashtag ride of the day, and I'll pick someone and let you know that I'm riding. Then you guys get a shout out, win or loss, in the next video. Before we get into the games for today, I'm rambling, but we'll go through this quick. We do have the merch out right now, the Fade Me Collection, where we took some other, you know, adult beverage companies, played with the logo a little bit. They're awesome, heavy duty, nice, 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 nice nice material guys we have them in t-shirts and hoodies and today because we went 6-0 last night and i can afford to do this we are going to be using the coupon code here hashtag fade it doesn't need to be hashtag actually just coupon code fade 20 percent off you guys can pick up a t-shirt 20 percent off a hoodie 20 percent off we have a bunch of different designs colors all that good stuff so we'll put that link in the comments as well but uh yeah hashtag i keep saying hashtag just use the coupon code fade we're blinking it up on the screen right now because we're excited about going six and oh but guys if you do want to pick up any piece of the collection it supports me and we're also doing doing a little bit of a discount there 20 percent off get them just in time for this nice warm weather if you're around me walking around with a fade me blue mountains tea uh i love it but uh guys maybe this isn't the time to fade me either right six and oh last night i guess i can't say fade me but i'm definitely not going to make a shirt that says ride me either because that's going to bring on some unwanted attention but let's jump into the games today we have the first game of the night is going to be actually it's not the night it tips off at 2 p.m eastern standard time here we have the raptors taking on the sixers here this is the, they're on the verge of a sweep and honestly i think i said it at the beginning of these videos i said this is this sixers team they're just way better than the raptors team you could tell from night one and then how they grinded in game two and then you know Embiid after game three is talking smack to drake you gotta love it i'm leaning philadelphia here minus three joel Embiid is on the injury report but i doubt he's injured i think he's just you know his his thumbs banged up that's what i got in the injury report here he's probable for this game which i assume he'll be playing and then scotty barnes is downgraded to doubtful which has been a pretty big uh miss for toronto so far but i could I could see a sweep coming tonight. Just like we swept last night, I could see a sweep coming tonight. I'm going to lean the Sixers here, minus three. It might be a nice little slide into a teaser where we can get them like plus one or something like that. But um, I'm going to lean the Sixers here, minus three. Make sure to keep an eye on the pinned comment because that will be where my final plays will be. This does have a strong chance of being a final play here. The total is 213. I like the over in this one as well. We have actually somehow turned it around and started to hit on some of these totals, which we stunk out loud during the entire regular season. But playoff-wise, we've actually been all right with that. So I'm going to lean total here uh, over to 13. 
Next up, we have the Jazz taking on the Mavericks. Jazz, six-point favorites here. This Mavericks team, I've said it over and over again. I said, you know what? Maybe they're not going to win these games, but they'll keep it close. And then they're winning two straight here. Mavs up now 2-1 in the series. They are the higher seed, but Utah, you know, if you go back to last year, they were a really, really good team. You'd think that they could, could kind of click and have something uh, click for them here, but hasn't really seemed like it except for game one there. But Luka, questionable. Brunson is probable. And then um, Neil Akinta is upgraded to questionable here. Dallas, I kind of see them keeping this game close, but maybe not within six points. I'm going to ride with 23% of the public are on the Jazz, so I'm going to be going in the minority here. I'm going to lean Utah here at minus six. This has a, this does not have a strong chance of making it into a final play, I'll be honest with you guys, just because I feel like, you know, this is the type of game where either Dallas is saying, yeah, guess what? We are the better team. We're going to win the series. You know, good luck. Um, you know, they go up 3-1. I feel like it would be pretty much over. Um, but this could be the game where Utah says, no, 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 let's lock down. Let's even this up. They're not that much better than us, and they play some good basketball. So we're going to lean Utah here minus six, but I don't love that game that much. So I don't think it makes it into the final plays here. Um, 212 and a half is the total. I would just say that's so low that, you know, go over. Um, but I don't love that either. You know, these these games have been all over the place. Game one, 93 to 99. Game three, 126 to 118. So if you're trying to get a read on how these two teams are playing, good luck. But uh, let's move on to the next game. Actually, before we do that, I do want to give a shout out to, you guys know who I'm giving a shout out to. We're giving a shout out to the ballers here, guys. Hashtag. Why do I keep saying hashtag? I'm an idiot. Just like I placed that under yesterday. But huge shout out, as I'm trying to say. It's like every word that starts with H. I just immediately say hashtag. because of hashtag right of the day. But huge shout out to the ballers here, guys. The ones that truly do, you know, support the channel and uh, have been here since day one. We'll give the shout outs here by name like I like to do. And we'll do it quick because, you know, some people are like, oh, you know, like you, you, you take too long to say thank you. No, no, that's an L for you guys if you think I take too long to say thank you. But we got Dennis, the anchor, Ricky, Keenan, Zapata, Jameson, Poncho, Corey, the roof doctor, Julian, Nick, McPaxton, John, Larry, Pagong, Drew, Corey, Trady, Sherwin, Edwin, Carmelita, Eric, Expect, Thomas, Sam, Harold, Fizz, Ryan, Lamar, and Justin. Guys, thank you so, so much. $2.99 a month. You get a badge next to your name in the comments. Priority access to some things on the channel here. Custom emojis that we're constantly adding to. And honestly, it just comes down to the sport. And I cannot thank you guys enough. I know that, you know, some people might be like, oh, I want a badge next to my name in the comments. But deep down, I cannot thank you enough that someone decides to go, you know what? Here's three bucks a month out of my pocket to support you, Ev. So I really do appreciate it and cannot thank you guys enough. That's why I want to go and will for as long as I can go name by name in each video to give you guys that shout out but um here we go let's go into the last two games of the night we have my boss and celtics taking on the brooklyn nets here celtics looking like one of the best teams in the playoffs right now whether they're you know having huge leads and having to fight for it at the end because they blew the lead and you know they show that they have some cojones or they're you know losing by 10 plus at half and they come back and beat brooklyn they're looking really really great as of right now but i will say this if there's a game that the Celtics' highest percent chance of them losing in this series, it's got to be this game. Brooklyn's going back home. You know, finally, you know, Kyrie's not going to get booed, yada, yada, yada. I think that uh, Brooklyn probably takes this game. They're three-point favorites in this one. Total's 222 and a half. Y'all know I do not bet against my Celtics, and I never will. So, you know, you call me biased, call me whatever. It's not happening. I'm not betting against the Celtics, but I will tell you this, and this usually says a lot when I say it. I'm also not betting on the Celtics today. So take that for what it's worth. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I love the Celtics. I can enjoy this game as a fan. If they go out and win it, great. I had no monetary sort of compensation here or, uh, you know, you know, connection. Um, so I'm going to lean. I'm going to lean uh, Celtics just because I have to. But I don't love this. It's not going to make the final comment or uh, the final plays there. But speaking of that, guys, the Discord, the link. I forgot to say this earlier. Discord link will also be in the pinned comment. Make sure to check that out. That is where if I add any player props throughout the day, the explanation for those will uh, be there. And I feel like I'm all over the place, but, you know, we went 6-0 last night. Sorry, I'm still riding the high. So uh, apologies if I, this is a all-over-the-place video where I'm talking a mile a minute, but it's what it is. Um, Timberwolves taking on the Grizzlies here. Timberwolves, three-point dogs at home. A lot of people liking the Timberwolves to bounce back in this game. Brooks is questionable um, for Memphis and no reported injuries for Minnesota. I just truly think that this Memphis team is better than the Wolves. Now, the Wolves are up a bunch of points and they just absolutely blew it in the fourth quarter, right? So you could say, oh no, they showed for the majority of that game they were better and it just came down to the fourth quarter. 
I don't care either way. I think that Memphis really showed something and showed some determination and some balls in the last quarter there, last game. You'd think, you know, I think most people would say, oh, no, Minnesota's not going to let that happen again and they're going to bounce back. I almost look at it like Memphis is that chip on their shoulder type of team where they say, hey, we were lucky to get that win. Let's go show the world that that wasn't a flaw. Like we are, that wasn't a fluke. So I like Memphis in this one. You're uh, three point favorites here. I'm on Memphis' side. I think that they win this game again. Um, I was even shocked that they lost game one, to be honest. Like I thought that this Memphis team getting John Morant back, being healthy is really really uh they were going to be a way better team than minnesota minnesota has proven that they can hang with memphis in this one but uh this has a strong chance to be a final play as well because i really do like memphis in this game but that's going to wrap it for the predictions portion of the video today guys again i can't thank you enough for all the support on the channel if you do want to hit that subscribe button it would be much appreciated let's run up that like button and then you hashtag ride of the day in the comments if you do have a play that you think that i should jump on board with i'm putting my money where your mouth is but uh yeah make sure to use hashtag right of the day in the comments i cannot thank you guys enough for the support we're almost at 10,000 subscribers and we're gonna do some sort of a, a big giveaway we got to do something for you guys i'm talking to a, a a company right now that you guys are probably familiar with and, and have been on the channel before about doing some kind of a cool giveaway for 10,000. so we'll see if that comes through but even if that does not and that falls through we got some other backup plans that are going to be awesome for you guys because i have to show thank you somehow i have to show thank you somehow without just saying it in every single video so you know i'm waiting till the end of the video here to just let you guys know big giveaway coming at 10,000 I really can't thank you guys enough but uh you know until next video before I start crying and getting a little mushy here we will catch you guys in the next video let's keep sweeping here 25 and 6 run in our last six days we're crushing it right now hopefully that continues I'll catch you guys in the next video as always peace out